Hi, welcome to the National Credit Stories Online News. Uh, tell us more about the Be a, Be a Hero to the Homeless program. Uh, I know that I heard that you guys have just got back and to celebrate this occasion with the youth. Well, yes, perhaps I can start by saying this is uh, a Week in We School uh, project. Uh, we take 12 students to a country where uh, there are people who need, need help. And in this case, the country is the Philippines. And we, uh, the people who need help are the homeless people who live in squat slums and who need proper housing to improve their living standards. And uh, this charity is called Gawad Galinga. And my colleague Ga uh, will explain what Gawad Galinga means. Uh, Gawad Galinga literally means uh, to give care. And this is a, a multinational or, uh, non-profit organization. It operates in six countries. and. Uh, the main thrust is community building, and so it is involved in education uh, and uh, community building uh, efforts. Uh, one of the particular subjects we went to investigate was the plight of those who were affected by the typhoon Pablo that recently devastated part of the southern Philippines. And we went to the site of that devastation, our students uh, interviewed some of the survivors and uh, inspected the scene of devastation. They filmed it, they photographed it, and they produced materials which we are exhibiting here in Old Parliament House today. The purpose of this exhibition is to build awareness in Singapore amongst the Filipino community to persuade them to donate to their uh, less fortunate citizens back home. And uh, that's the main purpose of tonight's event, is to publicize and uh, raise funds for this very good cause. And Professor, yeah. uh, please tell us, how uh, did the youth you know, from Singapore uh, benefit from this, uh, you know, this trip? Okay. Oh, see, uh, the university has this uh, initiative now for, uh, to develop, uh, to nurture well-rounded students. So many of the courses uh, here in Singapore still focus on the corporate track. And we thought that, you know, uh, in order to have well-rounded students, then we should have more advocacy-related related courses. And so here, uh, by introducing uh, students to the nonprofit world, uh, we're making them more uh, aware of the other causes that they can uh, pursue, uh, rather than just, you know, uh, have a career in the corporate sector. Can I add to that by saying that our students not only uh, were using their skills to promote this very worthy course, they were also exposed to experiences that they would never otherwise come across in Singapore. So this was a, a real um, life experience for our students. For example, they not only used their talents as communicators and researchers to support this cause, they also actually used their sweat and labor to help paint houses uh, for the slum dwellers who are rehoused in, in better accommodation. Yeah, and they also share their skills in photography, writing, and presentation uh, with uh, the volunteers in the Philippines. Yes, one day was spent uh, training the local volunteers in the Philippines, so our students became teachers, which is quite novel for them. They also found themselves billeted for one night on a mountainside village uh, in uh, a community that uh, was very poor but very generous in sharing what little they had with our students. And this was a very... Um, extraordinary experience for our students, one that I think moved them very much to, to, to witness firsthand how other people live in different conditions uh, was, was uh, I think, very character building for our students. How can our members of the public uh, make a contribution uh, for your students to make such trips in the near future? How can the public? Uh, they, yes, the members of the public, can they, can they make a contribution for your students to tr make a trip or to, to participate in such programs? Well, the public um, can certainly support the charity that our students are themselves bringing awareness um, to, but um, as far as the trip is concerned, our school is very fortunate in having uh, a legacy fund which sponsors these trips, and so the funding for these trips is, is provided by the school and, and its uh, sponsors. How can the members of, of the public uh, you know, uh, get more information of the charity that you are supporting? Is there a website for that? Oh yes, well perhaps you can talk about that. Yeah, so uh, it's uh, gawadkalinga.org and then for uh, Singapore itself, uh, it's GK1 Singapore. Uh, but they only have a, a Facebook page. Uh, so they can go to Facebook and then visit the GK1 Singapore uh, page on Facebook. And then our students' microsite will... Yeah, it's a... Uh, 
the microsite for this specific project is uh, be a hero to the homeless uh, .com. Well, well, thank you once again for joining us here at the National Grid Stories.